Hey guys, this is Divya, and I'm back with another episode of Personalities. Today, I'm going to present you another episode on Narsimha Gopal Swami Iyengar. Long name, so we'll call him N.G. Iyengar, right? He was born on 31st March 1882 and died on 10th February 1953. Before I begin, I would like to request you to subscribe to Vaishya's channel, also Vaish courses, and I would like to request you to watch those 20 foundational videos that Vaish sir has made. and after that only watch these videos and press that bell notification so that you never miss an update right and we are coming up with more new episodes and more new videos in both the channels vaishas as well as vaish courses so only the subscribed ones will be getting the notifications of those videos right and keep supporting us by liking these videos sharing these videos as much as you can right so ng ayangar he was an indian civil servant a statesman and also he served as the prime minister of the princely state of jammu and jammu and kashmir and later he became the minister in the first cabinet of independent india he was a member of the drafting committee of the indian constitution that's how we know his name right so the leader of the rajya sabha he was and he was a minister without portfolio looking after the kashmir affairs and also the minister of minister for railways in his kashmir affair roles Uh, affairs roles he represented india at the unsc united nations security council and later and later da- drafted the article 370 of the indian constitution that granted autonomy to jammu and kashmir right and now we know the fate of article 370 after uh, august august 5 2019 right so his early life and education so ng ayangar he was born on 31st march as i told in 1982 in, in tanjavur district of madras presidency he studied at the wesley college wesley school and at the presidency and law colleges in madras where after for a short period in 1904 he was an assistant professor in panchayapas college in 1905 he joined the madras civil service he served as a deputy collector till 1919 and was promoted collector and district magistrate in 1920 he was a registrar general of panchayats and inspector of local boards for 7 years from 1921 19 uh, from 1921 right and during this time many villages village panchayats were organized in the district of ramnad and guntur so this is his contribution to the local self government and uh, devolution right of the decentralization okay now mr ayangar ng ayangar he served as secretary to the government in the in the pwd that is public works department from 1932 to 34 and he served as a minister of the board of revenue until 1937 then then came the second phase of his career which was devoted to politics he was the prime minister of jammu and kashmir we discussed earlier from 1937 to 1944 and was appointed appointed council of state from 1943 43 to 47 and during that time he was chairman of the committee for indianization of army from 1947 to 48 he served as minister without portfolio in the first cabinet under jawaharlal nehru in the independent india this was followed by his sojourn as a minister of railways and transport from 1948 to 52 and finally he served as the minister for defense from 1952 to 1953 right yeah so his famous right his political career gained prominence during his tenure as minister of prime minister of jammu and kashmir from 1937 to 43 now his contribution in the government of india so in the constituent assembly of in 1946 ng ayangar was elected to the constituent assembly of india which convened in december 1946 with jawahar nehru lal nehru as its president so ng ayangar was appointed to the 13 member drafting committee that formulated the indian constitution now kashmir affairs soon after the accession of jammu and kashmir in october 1947 jawaharlal nehru appointed ng ayangar as a cabinet minister without portfolio and asked him to look after the kashmir affairs while jawaharlal nehru i mean jawaharlal nehru himself held overall charge for kashmir the move caused friction between the home minister then home minister vallabhbhai patel and uh, who should have actually normally been taken the responsibility for kashmir along with other princely states as we know uh, java i mean vallabhbhai patel united all the princely states to uh, to you know join the uh, indian domain right and then ayangar right ng ayangar was the chief drafter of article 370 which granted local autonomy to the state of jammu and kashmir 
I think this was a blunder from Jawaharlal Nehru. Now, Minister of Railways and Transport. So, during his tenure as Minister for Railways and Transport from 1948 to 52, the railways experienced considerable growth and expansion in services and equipment. He was the main architect in the regrouping of the Indian Railways into six zonal systems that we see today central eastern northern northeastern southern and western under his leadership the operation of the railways was smooth and productive the railway budget also reported surplus earnings at this time now his contribution in the reorganization of government so in 1949 he presented his report on the reorganization of the government machinery in an effort to streamline, streamline this government services and maintain efficiency in the public sphere. He recommended the establishment of four standing committees and as a result of this report, the Defence Committee, the Economic Committee, the Parliament and Legal Affairs Committee and the Administration Organization Committee were formed by the Union Government. His death and honours. So, N.G. Iyengar, he died in Madras at the age of 71 on 10th February 1953. He was survived by, uh, survived by his wife, a son, G. Parthasarthi, who was the assistant editor of the The Hindu, which we read today, and also a daughter. A distinguished administrator and a civil servant, N.G. Iyengar held seven titles under until 1947. Until the, uh, I mean, in, this includes the title of, title of uh, Diwan Bahadur, the highest title awarded by a British Viceroy. Other titles conferred on him by the British government were a Companion of Order of the Indian uh, Indian Empire, CIE, in 1935, Silver Jubilee and Bird, uh, Birthday Honours List, a Companion of the Order of the Star of India, CSI, in the 1937, Coronation Honours Honours List and Knighthood in 1941, New Year's Honours List. With this, we end up this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. For, for watching this video keep supporting us by liking and sharing these videos thank you we'll meet in the